I'm not a big Snapchat user, Will. I don't know. Maybe you are. Probably no. not. No. But they're always trying to they're trying to get the youngsters all fired up. That's really what they do at Snapchat. They get mm. the youngsters fired up. And you probably saw the stuff floating around. Look, I'm old. My face is old. I'm aging. You know, you saw that one. Or I'm a baby. Or, or before that, I'm a girl. And then everyone has to look at this is me. I'm a girl. You know, I think yeah. people did that to my, my face actually as well. I'm sure. Ran it through that thing. I think somebody tweeted that to me or something. Well, and anyway, that appears to be the way to do it. That has been successful. The face swapping, face apps, all this stuff for some reason is it's rocket fuel for social media. Mm -hmm. People love yeah, it. Yeah, it makes sense. People love it. Well, they're doubling down over, oh. over at Snapchat and they have a realistic bitmoji rolling out, which is uh, using deep fake technology. I know you're a big deep fake guy, Willie Do. You're always telling me you know, hot news on what's going on with that. Well, they've, I guess in this case, this is one of the first commercial applications we've seen where they're using that technology to enhance their customers' experiences on Snapchat or at least keep people locked in so they can look at more ads. And the idea being is that you, you take a selfie, you insert your face into this more advanced Bitmoji. It's called Cameos, by the way. And then... Your face can go into all these various scenarios, which presumably could change all the time. And then you send it to your friends. Ha ha, I'm in space. I'm singing a song on a park bench. I don't know. Uh, social media in 2019. <laughs> Dude, I don't know. I hit the Discover page of Instagram the other day. It's, all, it's a lot of reposts of TikTok now on the Discover page. Hmm. And it's just a girl doing a dance. Mm -hmm. That's what it is now. Yeah. There seems to be a lot of trends on TikTok and then it just gets carried over onto Twitter. No, but it's not carried Instagram. over. It's an actual screen capture. You still see the TikTok logo and then it's posted onto Instagram. That's oh. some weird meta stuff. But then I'm looking at the content saying, okay, so this is what TikTok is because I don't use TikTok. And it's people doing different dances. Mm. A lot of it. I'm sure there's other stuff going on over there. There definitely oh. is. But it's just, it's the, the attention metric, man. Whole oh, baby, it's getting, that window's getting smaller and smaller. You got, to grab the attention now, you got a half a second. Mm. And it's like, it's all choreographed. It's a lot of, you know, it's a lot of. Yeah, yeah. And then, you know. Really, I just came here today because I wanted to tell you that. And I wanted to do the demonstration. The little dance. Yeah, that's why I came here today. So they're trying to get, you know, stay in the groove. It's hard in 2019 to stay in the groove. This, the reason this is being reported on is because they're actually doing a trial run in France with this feature. It's not officially out yet, not for everybody. And it's going to allow people to uh, spend more time on their phones instead of real life. <laughs> it, it's going to allow people to put themselves in more fake scenarios so they can avoid actual scenarios and just communicate solely through so memes and everyone's a meme everything's a meme everything is funny here we have here we have one of the scenarios will's showing oh what yeah she's so tired and oh she's gonna watch netflix what's she gonna do i don't know that looks horrible that you're not so, happy with that it looks terrible what yeah but it's compared to bitmoji will what do you want here what are you what are you asking for it's I, better than bitmoji i thought the face like scanning would okay be try a different accurate. one try a different it's got to be Maybe more that's than that. a bad example yeah because it's coming at you and yes yes what a what a business! Look, okay, there you go, throwing money. Oh, it's a bit uncanny. There's an uncanny effect. There's no neck. He has no neck. Yeah, you don't get a neck. All right. Stop being so demanding. <laughs> They're trying to allow you to communicate from the comfort of your uh, dingy couch. 
Right. Because you, you, Okay, that makes sense. So you don't get a neck. You're willing to sacrifice a neck in exchange for not getting up and yeah. going for a walk. Yeah. I don't know, man. How do you differentiate? Facebook is just going to take it, right? It'll be on Instagram in five minutes. They'll just hire those developers. Everybody will have the feature. We're What are we in the future? We're all bitmojis. Mm -hmm. Just avatars. We're just avatars. We only communicate through memes. Because why would you ever describe anything? We just communicate through memes. We don't actually have language the way it is right now. It's just I we just it's meme trading. It's just meme commerce. There you go. Kirk's right. You find a really good version of the TikTok dance and then you deep fake your own face onto that. And for some reason Will's having fun looking at illustrations of my own face at the moment. Which is rude as far as I'm concerned. But shout out to whoever took the time to do that because that looks that would take time. But Kirk's right. Why would you do anything if you can find a good version of the thing being done and then just and then just deep fake the face onto? Why am I do why am I here? What are we talking about? 